Oh, okay. Uh, Kev, take us home with our top 10 games. Yeah, here we go. Third this iteration. is the big one. Yeah, we are. We've done this a couple of times. 200 seemed to be the right time to do it again. The first time we did it was episodes three and four. We split it up because he didn't want it to be as long as this episode's turned into. Uh, it's <laughs> quite long. So Hell we don't um, care anymore. Episode three on February 23rd, 2018, we did top 10 games from number 10 to number six. And then the next show after episode four on March 2nd, we did numbers five to number one. So for this, we'll just run through that very old list. Uh, Logan, you want to start us off just run through from your honorable mention 10 to one yes my honorable mention was guitar hero 3 which i still love i had actually i i recently did my top 25 of all time i know we're only doing 10 on the show um but i was happy to see that all games but one that were in my top 10 three four years ago are still in uh today so in my top 25 so some have moved around but basically i'm pretty it's pretty consistent uh, Guitar Hero 3 was my honorable mention. Kid Icarus Uprising was my number 10. Halo Reach was my 9. Golf Story yeah. was my 8. Sonic Generations, my 7. I put Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Interesting. Blue yeah. Rescue Team at the 6. Whoa. Spicy. Played the remake. Did really love the remake. Uh, but this is the one that has fallen out. That is no longer in my top 25 anymore even. Uh, and then 5-1. Uh, to one. Number 5 is The Last of Us. Replaced by Part 2. Spirit of Justice. Replaced by a different Ace Attorney. Ocarina of Time. Number 2 is Smash Wii U. Replaced by a different Smash Brothers. And my number 1 at this time was Earthbound. So there's some big changes from this list to the second time we did it to now. Big moves. Zach, you want to go through your earliest iteration of the top 10 games from way back in 2018? This is unrecognizable. (laughs) There are some are legendary me? picks on here. I'm oh my god! <laughs> all right. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. All right. Back in what was it? 2018. Holy crap! Yeah, a long time uh, ago. My honorable mention was Ape Escape 2, which is still in my top 25. I also recently made my top 25, so I can pinpoint what exactly is still in my good graces. Number mm-hmm. 10, Pokemon Fire Red. <laughs> Um, it's a good game it, though i mean it is a good I, game. I have decided that pokemon platinum i do enjoy more than okay. fire red pokemon platinum is still in my top 25 okay. but pokemon like logan has fallen out of my top 10 uh number nine jack and daxter one great game uh i don't think it made my top 25 uh number eight sly cooper three my favorite sly cooper i don't think it made the top 25 <laughs> <laughs> The next one is so. Oh, wait. Oh, no. It's no. It's no, not no, the next no. One. no. It's the next we'll, we'll get to that. It's next time. Okay. It's, it's, it, it gets, number seven. Good. Number seven. Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 is definitively my favorite Kingdom Hearts. It's still in the top 25. That game is great. Uh, number six. Tekken 4. Uh, also in my top 25, but also fell out of my top 10. It's my favorite Tekken. It's not the best Tekken. Tekken 7 is probably the best Tekken. Um, but. I just had so much time and love put into Tekken 4, and I just always loved the vibe of it. So it's, I'm glad that one's still in my top 25. Uh, are we going all the way to number one? Yeah. Five to one. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, we divided this up. Uh, number five, The Walking Dead, um, which is still in my – it's 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 hanging in there. Uh, it used to be higher. Uh, it is now lower. Number four, Dishonored 1. Um, at that point, I hadn't put as much love into Dishonored 2, uh, which I have now. I've played Dishonored 2 a few times through, and I like that one a little bit more. Uh, number three, Last of Us. Number two, Uncharted 4. And number one, Shadow of the Colossus. So Top some consistent things. titles. Yeah. yeah, consistent titles. A little bit jumbled, but yeah. Definitely fell off at the end of that list. So <laughs> we will <laughs> we'll see where that goes. <laughs> well... You have played, I have played so many games since then. Over 100 games yeah. since then, probably. Yeah. A lot going yeah. on. Yeah. All right. My top 10 from about four years ago, my honorable mention, MLB Power Pros 2008. Still one of my Let's favorite. Go. One of my favorite Great sports game. games of all time. Awesome. I still think that is a fantastic game with just the amount of content it has. Number 10, Little King Story. Number 9, Burnout 3. Number 8, Saints Row 2. Number 7, Nino Kuni. Six, Stardew Valley. Five, Pokemon Soul Silver. Four, Viva Pinata. Three, Persona 5. Two, Uncharted 4. And one, Yakuza 0. So some ones that I still uh, would put in uh, top 10s or, or top 25s. 
I'm questioning yeah. if I like Soul Silver more than Platinum. Soul, um, <laughs> yeah. Soul Silver is great. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think that was a pretty solid list. Um, so let's move yeah. to about 50 episodes later. On episode 50, this Whoa, was. Whoa, Kevin! Oh, what? I'm looking at your number three. Big moves. On, on this on, on my, this fifty on number fifty fifty list yeah oh it moved up and then it and then it moved yeah. again it <laughs> it I, it's just, be like that I, I still love that game uh, but I uh -huh. <laughs> changed things up uh yeah, so this was on February eighth twenty nineteen about a year later uh, on episode fifty we did the top ten games of all time I'll throw it to uh, to Zach first you want to run through your top ten games. From a year later. So we had a few honorable mentions. Right. Um, Red Dead Redemption 1. I think this was shortly after I played it. Love that game. Um, Catherine. Uh, which is probably just out of my top 10 at that point. Uh, also very much love that game. And then Jack and Daxter. Which was originally in my top 10. Got pushed out. Um, and then my list starting at number 10. Sly Cooper 3. It looks like it got pushed down a little bit. Number 9. A Way Out. Number 8. Yakuza 0. Number seven, Spider-Man PS4. Uh, number six, Kingdom Hearts 3. Okay. <laughs> Let me explain myself. There's no way. <laughs> this was a month after Kingdom Hearts 3 came out. Yeah. And Kingdom Hearts 3, I have said this on the show before, is that games that I play that have lackluster stories and really great gameplay, I love them in the moment. And then over time, I l like them less and less because the gameplay... I start to forget about and the story is the only thing that sticks in my mind. So in my That's head, fair. they degrade over time. To be Same thing yeah, happened true. with like games like Days Gone. Like I, I it was fun <laughs> to play in the moment, but now that game's a joke. <laughs> I mean, it was a joke before too. I mean, it was a joke before. It was, but I mean, it's not a fun be, time playing it. I mean, I feel that with um, Kingdom Hearts three a lot. Where when I was playing it, I had a good time. I thought the Kingdom worlds Hearts are really structurally uh, a very good game. And it was it's fun, fun to play, play, but it looks good. But that's it's just not memorable. It's just, it's not memorable. The worlds are... I don't like the worlds. I don't like the story, the dialogue, any of that. It just didn't stick as much. And I have landed on definitively Kingdom Hearts 2 being the best Kingdom Hearts. I don't think it's close. And Kingdom Hearts 2 is still in my top 25. But that is my justification for Kingdom Hearts 3 being on my my list one month after <laughs> it had released. You, you guys are going to think I'm joking. <clears throat> I never would have, like, never would have sniffed my top 100 games. But I totally feel what you mean Sonic Forces got worse and worse in my brain over time. I played it. I wanted to like it so, much. and then the further right I get away with from you. it, yeah, it's just like, ugh, it's it's gross. <laughs> yeah, that happens with certain yeah. games. Yeah, yeah, it just gets grosser and grosser the more you, the more time has passed since you last played it. Yeah, yeah. And then Anyways, number you're, five. You're top five yep. Right, yep. Number five, Dishonored one. This was just shy of me falling in love with Dishonored two. Uh, Number four, Dragon Quest Eleven. Number three, Last of Us. Number two, Uncharted Four. And number one, Shadow of the Colossus. So top three so not, not much change. change. <laughs> not much change yeah. in the yeah. top three. There. All right, Logan. Yeah. Uh, so I had some honorable mentions. Golf Story uh, fell out of the top ten here. Uh, Pokemon Sapphire. I decided I liked more than Rescue Team. I guess. A Way Out. Honorable mention. Halo Reach fell out. Super Mario Odyssey. Honorable mention. And Captain Toad. I gave the honorable mention. Then my top 10, Kid Icarus Uprising, stayed where it was. Uh, the Last of Us, which fell a couple spots. Uh, Uncharted 4, which uh, rose a couple spots. Was it on my list last time? Uh, it was. Oh, it was not on my list. Not. Had you not, had you not gone not. through your experience of playing? I had. Yet? I think at the time I decided I only wanted, because we were doing one per series, and I think at that time I decided only one between last of us and uncharted Interesting. but then for this time around i changed my mind. number seven was celeste that was a new edition uh number six the the second different ace of, the second of three different ace attorney games on these yeah. ace attorney yeah, investigations that. two uh number five sonic generations which is pretty on it number four dragon quest 11 same spot Dragon's as jack yep. it's just destined to be number four every <laughs> list it's on uh number three ocarina of time Number two, Earthbound, and number one, Smash Ultimate, which was only a few months old, immediately took the number one spot. Like the of course day it, it came did. out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts three. It's in my top. As soon as it, it came might out. be my top twenty-five. <laughs> yeah. So that's my top. Yeah, but uh, some change, but pretty consistent. 
Just some weird Pokemon happenings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was still in denial that I don't give a crap about that franchise anymore. Yeah. Or, but now We're I know I don't. <laughs> no, I'm in. I'm still in denial. All right, uh, my top tens. Uh, honorable mentions: Dragon Quest XI, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, Yakuza Kiwami Two. I think that was on there also because I had Yakuza on this list as well, so I didn't want to put two mm-hmm. in there. Uh, and Nino Kuni was an honorable mention. Ten Saints Row Two. Uh, Saints Row 2 was on the list at some point, I think. Eight. So, bumped out. Pull, I have your list up. Uh, Pokemon Soul Silver was at nine. That, was that dropped four that slots. Dropped, okay. Eight, Uncharted 4. Is that dropped it? six spots. Dropped six, okay. No. Who's your number two? Wow. Oh, uh, nice. Seven, Viva Pinata. Dropped three spots. Dropped three. Uh, six, Mario Odyssey. Uh... N- was new that? to the list. Oh, okay. Was that? New to the list. Okay. Brand new. Number five, Burnout 3. That was... That was number nine. That, that rose nine, four so, spots. Okay, that came up. Uh, four was Persona 5. Dropped one spot. Dropped. <laughs> the big move. MLB <laughs> Power Pros 2008 uh, at number three. <laughs> Let's um, go. I think I put it that... I still love the game. I still do. But I think I put it on there just because I remembered how many hours I put into that game as a kid. And it was like, that was almost like my world for like two or three years of just playing yeah. that game. So it was like it had to be on there. And I I just felt like it had such a big impact that it should be really high on the list. Still love that game. Uh, number two, Stardew Valley. That rose from what, six? Four spots? Um, Yes. Uh, it was six. Yeah. And then number one, Yakuza 0. Unchanged. Okay, that, that stayed the same. But will it stay the same for our new list? So that was, <gasps> we had two lists, 2018 and 2019. And now in 2022, a couple of years later, we're doing it again for episode 200. Our new definitive top 10 games of all time. Let's see what's changed over the last three or four years this of doing exciting. this show. So much. Logan. So much has changed. You want to go through your new top 10 games of all time? Yes, I'll go 10 to 1. Uh, usually this can take like a whole show to do our top 10, but we've talked about these games so much. <laughs> you know, like we can just rip through. Let's just see uh, what's someone, moved someone around. Have my, I've got someone it. I've have got my it up. most recent one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Number 10, Sonic Generations. Sonic Generations dropped. It was at five. Yeah. I have to have a Sonic game in the top 10. I recently revisited this one and gosh, it's just so, so good. That's what the FPS uh, boost? 11 years later. Yeah. Uh-huh on xbox series s looks incredible uh yeah definitely deserve number nine super monkey ball 2 that was not anywhere on here (laughs) yeah last time we did this what what year was the last time we did this 2019 the start february 2019 i was just entering the monkey ball 2 obsession a few months ago so i don't think i yet realized how much i loved that game but you guys know i'm a monkey ball master now now uh master mode certified official yep yeah, and Monkey Ball 2 is, it's just one of the greatest controlling games of all time. So incredible. Number eight, Dragon Quest Eleven. Drop from four. Yeah, I uh, really, really love this game. I think it could boost with a replay. Uh, it's just not as fresh in my mind as some of these other games. So I feel like if I played it again, it, it could go up. But yeah, really love that game. Earlier on the show, we were talking about a game you know nothing about that then just blows you away. And that was this for me. Just going in knowing nothing about this or the game and just having the best time. Number seven, Super Mario Odyssey. Super Mario Odyssey. Where that was a uh, honorable mention. I have no idea why it <laughs> took me so long to get this in the top ten, but it's incredible. Yeah, yeah, one of the most memorable weekends of gaming ever, especially single player. Just ripping through that game, uh, starting it on Friday, beating it by Sunday. Just unforgettable stuff. And excited that Zach's finally playing it. <laughs> you gotta do it. <laughs> yep. No, number six, Uncharted 4. Uncharted 4 moved up a couple spots from eight. Yeah, just every time I play it, I like it more. And Where, where's it going to move in a couple of weeks? <laughs> <laughs> Is this going to be five? Yeah. updated? <laughs> the top five are pretty untouchable. Yeah, pretty I would, untouchable I would say so for you, yeah. Yeah. There's, there's not a big gap because Uncharted very special to me but uh yeah I, I think the top five is impenetrable except by anything else from its own franchise is basically hard. number five 
the third Ace Attorney game to make the list, The Great Ace Attorney 2. Well, the last Ace Attorney game was at six, so. Okay, so this bumped up one spot for the series. Have to have an Ace Attorney game on there. Was always torn which one it was, and now it's clearer than ever. This is by far the definitive game. It's somehow better. (laughs) I don't know. It'd be crazy if they could do it. Uh, It'd be amazing. But yeah, it was always like, I love the series as a whole, but there's not one game that sticks out in my mind, and now there is. The pinnacle of the series. Great Ace Attorney 2. Ode to Games 2021 Game of the Year, which is pretty awesome. Even though I have a one-third say in that. But it's, <laughs> it's still pretty great. Uh, number four, Last of Us Part Two. Okay, where? Oh, that was where nine. was Last of Us? Uh, that was at number yeah, nine uh, on the last one. So it, I do it like, bumped up. I do like the second one significantly. I just talked about it on the PS4. But I also just, the gameplay was a huge jump for me from the first one, too. I just thought it felt so much better. Uh that's another game I'll never forget the first weekend playing it. Just ripping through it. I beat it days before you guys did. Oh, I did that entire week. And it was it was a blast. A very different sort of feeling than Super Mario Odyssey. A very <laughs> yeah, a very game. different game. <laughs> yeah. The top three. Number three, Monster Hunter World. Wow, which, that was not there. Not there. So, yeah, because we surprising. last did it. We last did it two months before... The three of us picked it back two up. months before that that fateful day with the with the Metacritic score. Was that what it was, or was that no no of... no? Two months before we picked it back oh, after it the back three up. of us set okay. it down for a year. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then we picked it back up. You beat Zora Magdaros with us, and Zach and I never stopped. <laughs> we ended it as number three, yep. and it's besides the two most important series in my life. It's my favorite game ever. It's it's so so good, and I. I get nostalgic for it. Zach, any excuse to reinstall it? He's the <laughs> PS5 soon. We might install it back and play it again. We'll see. Number two is Ocarina of Time. Bumping up from three. Yep, it has to, has to be a Zelda game. Ocarina of Time is still the one. Although my bold prediction for the show is that Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 will be my new number two after I play it. I have that high expectations and hopes All for right. it. Um, but Ocar- it, uh, Breath of the Wild's great. But the lack of dungeons and some other key Zelda elements keeps it from being my number one. And Ocarina of Time is it's just timeless. Um, yeah. And number one is Ultimate. No change. No... So I don't Earthbound. think believe. Got uh... out of the top 10. Yeah. Still in the top 25. It's, it's my number 11. Okay, okay. So very close yep. still. It's my honorable mention. Um, I kind of decided like Dragon Quest 11 is my JRPG pick. For my top 10, I like it more than Earthbound. So that was kind of my justification to knock around. All right. Can still get it. But there it is. All right. Great. Zach, you want to go through your list? New top 10. I will. We'll rip through my list. Number 10, Halo 2 Anniversary Edition. This was a fairly recent addition to my top 10 list. So sure, I think I've had a definitive top 10 for the last couple of years that wasn't the top 10 from our last show that we did it <laughs> yeah i have been referencing for a couple of years so uh halo 2 was not on that so it was a recent addition um when i did play year of halo last year in 2021 um i absolutely loved the franchise it was fun to go back to the first two that i had already played as a kid um and halo 2 is just my favorite with the remastered graphics the remade cutscenes. i love the story playing it twice once just for fun and then another time on Legendary, which was still a really good time, but absolutely brutal. Played it with a friend. Just uh, my favorite Halo experience. So glad that some Xbox representation made the list. Number nine, The Walking Dead Season 1, which I think has been consistent across these lists. Um, It was not on your most recent one. No. So it got booted from that first one. Okay. Wow. Well, it was on my, my list yeah, so that Walking Dead was though. five on that first list, and then yeah. vanished and yeah. came back. <laughs> totally gone. <laughs> Walking Dead. Did not, did not get an honorable on mention either. List. It's one of my favorite video game stories of all time. Um, choice based game. It looks like it's my favorite choice based game of all time, which is fun. Uh, number eight, Yakuza Zero, which I think has Same been consistent. Spot. Yeah. Number eight. Number eight. It's just deserved. It. It's it's my favorite Yakuza game. Very close uh, is Kiwami to. Um, those those are so good. Great games. Um, and and like a dragon, which I just like really enjoyed. Yeah, I really think, fun. Yeah. 
liked it a lot. I didn't realize you had Spider Man at seven last time. It's not even. Is that that's not even your twelve? Not there. <laughs> it, is, <laughs> it is not. Uh, but that game is fantastic. It's just been so long. I think it needs a replay. Um, and that was just that last time was just like three months after it came out. Exactly. Recency yeah, so bias is a these... thing. Yeah, as yeah, evident exactly. with Kingdom Hearts 3. In, in, <laughs> in three months, who knows if Halo 2 is yeah. still going to be on this list. Who knows? <laughs> That's fair. Um, number seven is Witcher 3, which recently got bumped down for me. It used to be higher, uh, but now it's number seven. Uh, I absolutely love The Witcher 3. Uh, I want to replay it when it comes to PS5. Um, if it comes <laughs> to PS5. I this year yeah. sometime. <laughs> yeah, we'll maybe. See. Yeah. Uh, number six, Dragon Quest Eleven. So that dropped two spots from four. Feels bad, but it is my favorite JRPG of all time. Unless you, I guess Monster Hunter World is a JRPG. Yeah, no, it's not. Different. It's not. It's something right. else. I don't know what Number it is. five, Dishonored 2. Um, takes the spot of Dishonored at the same spot. Does take, yep. So Dishonored 1 I was my favorite for a long time. When Dishonored 2 came out, I didn't like it as much. Um never even finished it for a long time, and then... At some point, I was just like, what am I doing? Picked it back up, played it, and I have played it since then probably like five times and platinumed it. And I do think it's much, it's better graphically and technically and pretty much just overall from the first one. So glad that made the list. Number four, Last of Us 1. Drop from three. Um, I think this is another situation where I was very torn between The Last of Us 1 and The Last of Us 2. Uh, Logan went with The Last of Us 2. I think I still like the first one a little bit more. I haven't played The Last of Us Part 2 since it came out. I am planning to replay it soon-ish. So, after going back for a second playthrough, I might see it differently. I have played The Last of Us 1 near a half a dozen times. So, we will end. I played it on grounded mode. So, I'm really attached to these games that I play on very hard difficulties. <laughs> Because it feels like That's a fair. real achievement, yeah. And then number three, Shadow of the Colossus. That dropped from, from number, number one. one. Yeah. Uh, yes, it was also number two until last night when something dethroned its number two spot. Man, uh, number two, Monster man, Hunter it wasn't World. It takes two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you believe you it? Just beat That'd it. Be... Number one, Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> oh, tropical. <laughs> Recency bias is a uh, <laughs> killer. Yeah. Monster Hunter World, though, number two. <laughs> number two. So listening back to us just absolutely gushing about Monster Hunter World for a long time like a on this year. show. Exactly. It's just like, of course, that game needs to be number two. Um, it is just one of my favorite games. I don't know what could, what could possibly overtake it other than the number one spot. It just seems like such a gap because of how much love and time I put into that game and how perfect it is. Um, and then, of course, number one, Uncharted 4. Moving from two. Shortly, yep, shortly after that list, Uncharted 4 took the Shadow of the Colossus spot as number one and then was number one for a long time, and, and it still is because that is just my favorite, my favorite series of all time, and that's just the culmination and, in my mind, probably just the perfect game. I know I've talked about it a lot, but I've Great replayed game. that game a bunch of times, and I, I will never stop about replaying to it. Again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. About to hit it again. Yeah. It's a good list. You've uh, come a yeah, long way got since your list pulled up. some of the old, older lists. I think this yeah. one's a lot more refined. I like my top 25 yeah. a lot. Shout out to yeah. Deathloop at number 11. That's mm -hmm. a recent addition. Whoa, Ace, really? Ace Attorney at number 12. Wow. So, also, also good. A three, Trials and Tribulations. Uh, right. n which has not been Logan's favorite ever, apparently. <laughs> it was originally when, when I first played, played the yeah. first few. Well, that really checks favorite. out. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just stage. say real quick, my number twelve is Fall Guys. The better twelve. Number fourteen is Fall Guys. Nice. All right, Kevin. Let's do it. I've got your list pulled up. Your old one. Number ten. I've got a new entry. I was talking about this game earlier. Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. Finally it beat not it. Ranked. Um, yeah. it was in the backlog for so long. It was so nice to finally beat it. And just all of those memories, both from my childhood and more recently, just a couple of years ago, beating it for the first time, that game is so good. Just, I don't think we're going to get another Mario game like that. 
at least not the way that Mario is going right now, where it's just so completely yeah. different than any other Mario games with the worlds and a more adult setting, you know, just like rogue port and just like having all these criminals just in the city yeah. and just super nasty and all these worlds and the, the wrestling area is one of my favorite areas in Mario. And I don't think we're going to get another one. And paper Mario has really fallen off the wagon um, in more recent years, but the thousand year door is such a good game. The original one on 64 is great too, but I think the thousand year door uh, is the better of the two. Number nine, Pokemon Soul Silver, my one Pokemon game on unchanged. Yep, stays at number nine. I do like Platinum a lot too, but I think I think Soul Silver is the best Pokemon game there is. Just it is super refined. The fact that you can ha that you have two regions, both uh, Gen One and Gen Two, and just how big that was. I just remember like before when those games were stuck on Game Boy Color, it was such a big deal when Generation Two made the jump to Nintendo yeah. DS and it really lived up. That game is still great. I'd go back and play it again. Good stuff. Uh eight, Dragon Quest Eleven. Where was that on? Uh that honorable on? mention. Honorable mention. It's Ooh, moved into the top nice. ten. Number Probably eight. We'd never stop talking about how much we loved it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it'll change again when uh I go do a replay in the future, but one of my favorite JRPGs. Not my favorite, because there's one that is higher than that later on in this list. Number seven, Uncharted 4. It's got to be on all of our lists. Up one spot. So, okay. Number it six, Viva Pinata. Up one spot. It was seven. All right, moving up. Uh, number five, Burnout 3. Take down. Up one spot. It was... Oh, wait, no, it is number five. It's still number... Okay, that has Wait, it's number five? Number five? Number right? five yeah. is mm -hmm. Burnout yep, 3. It, yeah, unchanged. Uh, number four, this one's moved, Super Mario Odyssey. Up two spots. I just realized why everything moved up a spot. Is the MLB <laughs> Power Pros It has moved? dropped. <laughs> I, yeah, <laughs> number gone. three is Persona 5. MLB Power up Pros one spot? <laughs> got moved. moved. I would I would put that uh, so at 11 funny. or 12 along with Nier okay. Automata probably. Okay. I haven't decided okay. definitively on that. So Persona 5 is at three. Two is Yakuza Zero. That is dropped. <gasps> Up which from means number one. Which I have a new, new number one. one. Stardew Valley. Oh, is yeah. Is anybody surprised? Of course it is. <laughs> it feels right. I've put in nearly 300 hours into that game, both on PC and on Switch. Your world. Um, I think certain games where you can play them when they come out and periodically pick them back up and it feels like you're playing, the sa playing a new game again or having the same amount of fun that you had when you first played it and stardew valley is that game for me the game has been out since 2016 and i've consistently picked it back up over the years and seemingly had an even more fun time each time i played it and i think that's also due to the fact that all of the updates have come out to radically change how the game plays but yeah the fact that i can pick it back up so many times put in over 300 hours and still feel like there's a bunch of stuff that i can do and experience uh it's deserving of the spot at number one Great game. Congrats, a change. It's been Yakuza 0 for the first 199 episodes. Yeah, until today. And it's Zach, you're, you, was Shadow of the Colossus number one until today, officially? On no. Games? Well, I, I know the games, yes, but my yeah, definitive uh -huh. list that I had for a very long time. It's been Uncharted it, it for a while. Two. It's been Uncharted for, for a very long time. So I want to ask you guys, do you think your number one will ever change? It could, yeah. I'm. Oh. I'm not. I'm not saying that. Uh, that Stardew Valley could get dethroned maybe. Who by knows? something else. Um, I think it'd be. It'll be incredibly hard to top it, but I don't think Stardew Valley is this almighty thing that I will never think is my favorite game of all time. What about I don't think mine will ever change. No. I think that unless there's a better Smash, which I do not think will ever happen, that's the only thing that could ever replace it. Like, not only is the game just so much fun to play, so much there, but just the journey of four years, practically, of, of character reveals and predictions and excitement and playing with friends, playing the story, doing all the single-player content, running that league we mentioned from time to time where we simulate fights of all the computers. I played, I played Smash for 560 hours on my Switch and probably 100 hours on other people's Switches. And yeah, it was just such a journey, I don't think. I don't think it'll ever change, which I'm, I'm fine with. Oh, and amiibo hunting is a whole part of it, too. That's all tied in. 
to smash itself. So I think mine will be that forever. Unless, miraculously, in three years, we're like, we're idiots for not thinking there was ever going to be a better Smash game. Well, yeah, we'll have to see. Yeah. Things could change. Zach, did you think yours was going to change ever? I don't. I don't see there being any more mainline Uncharted's. Um, so I think four might just be here it is for the rest of time, which is a crazy thought, but you never know. No series could dethrone Uncharted. Come on. <laughs> Monster Hunter? <laughs> Legends Arceus. Monster Hunter. If there's a sixth generation game that's better than World, I won't say no. Yeah. Who knows? Because yours is different from ours. And that yours is a very curated 10 to 15 hour experience. Well, mine and Kev's number one are infinite, endless, replayable number games. Number two is the infinite. Yeah, exactly. Game. <laughs> yeah. So, so I, I could see it, see it changing. Yep.